Hey everybody, today I am sharing a reintroduction to makeup I hate. I had received two of these products in a beauty box, um, in the same one, but not in the actual same box. Like, I received them months apart, but the same box sent out the same product. So, I had tried it, and I never liked it. And it was about a year ago, and it is Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pink Cheek and Lip Stain. Um, it looks like this. It's in like a little eyeshadow thing. And... I never liked this because it was so pigmented but kind of difficult to blend out and it has like this weird f taste to it so today I am just going to use it as a blush because I already have lipstick on however I don't like using this as a lip stain because it tastes really gross and it's kind of unsettling and it kind of always made me nauseous. Today I'm just going to be using it as a blush. So what I'm going to do is just tap my finger in it once like that and we are going to see how it applies. I'm tapping really lightly because this stuff is pigmented as you can see. Plus it was always kind of a shade of pink that I didn't think worked for me because I am so pale, kind of, I don't know, I just never really liked it. It kind of looks like I got slapped in the face. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. Sorry, I'm using this to do that to kind of like take the pigment off with my fingertips a little bit. I'm going to put some on my nose because I do like putting blush on my nose sometimes. And then like a little bit back here. blush up here some people put bronzer here but I like putting blush I feel like for my face shape putting blush here works really nicely for me because I have a very my face is like this instead of like rounded you know like most faces are rounded like that my face is more like that so I don't really have like sides of my face my face is kind of flat I don't know if that even makes sense but trust me when it comes to makeup it makes sense so like I've had to come up with different methods of applying blush and bronzer and highlighter and stuff just because my face is a it's like different it's just like a different face and so a lot of people like to put bronzer up here to um give their face more like shape and more depth but for my face it just makes me look really sunken in here and it makes this part of my face look super big so I kind of like putting blush up here um, to make it look more actually like broader up here if that makes sense because it brings it forward whereas contour would make it look inner like more in and sunken in than blush would because blush will bring it out so that's why I put blush up here I'm not gonna lie I actually really like this because it kind of like with this fall makeup kind of makes me look flushed like it kind of makes me look like I've been outside while, while it's really really cold and so my skin is kind of pinkish because the cold that's my cat being a jerk so it kind of makes me look like I've been out with Really? He knocked these four palettes off of my freaking desk. Gotta make sure now that they're all okay. Back to what I was saying. This kind of makes me look like I have been outside in the cold and my cheeks and nose are red. And it's really cute and really natural and I feel like I actually really, really like this for this time of year, especially since I'm so pale right now. Um, I think that it works and I think that but at the time that I had actually received this and tried it for the first time it was summer so it really didn't look very good and it just didn't match my skin at the time. I really like this. I still would not like this as a lip tint 
because it tastes really bad and it doesn't, I don't know, I don't think it looks very good on the lips. I think that it kind of hugs the dry bits of your lips and it sinks into your lines of your lips and just doesn't look good. But I think for a blush, it actually is really nice. It does leave your skin kind of tacky because, I mean, it is a cream blush, but I guess you could just take some loose powder and kind of like pat it. And um, that should take down the stickiness. But I think that it's really pretty and really subtle. And I think it just looks really, really natural and nice. That is the video. Um, I know it's super quick, but I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just haven't really been able to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if they have any other shades of this. I'll have to look online, but I will link this in the description. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, if you are new here, hi, I am Emily. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy being a part of this channel. Um, and if you don't know how to subscribe, click the red button that says subscribe and you will see every video I post when I post it. I post videos every weekday and yeah, I hope you all are having a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.